1833, the structure known as the Bucket was built as a stable barn next door to the Riverside Hotel to keep and feed horses in the area. During the harsh winter months, the barn had a secondary use, storing Union City's deceased residents until the ground thawed out in the spring. As time passed, the use of horses as the main mode of travel declined, and in 1937, the Riverside Hotel converted the stable next door into what is now the Bucket. It served as the community's local watering hole for 86 years until bar operations ceased in early 2023. Once known as the Bloody Bucket, because of the rough and tumble grounds on Friday and Saturday nights, the Bucket developed quite a reputation. It had been confirmed that Union City and the surrounding area was part of the Underground Railroad, and although we haven't found any solid evidence due to its covert nature, it's hard to believe the barn would not have been used to help escaping slaves in their journey to freedom. Most of the original structure still remains today. Unfortunately, over the course of the Bucket's 190-year history, tragedies in the building and on the surrounding property were as common as the cold beer and fistfights. Some of the more recent tragedies include the passing of the previous owner due to a heart attack, a patron suffering from a brain aneurysm on the dance floor, the two people who perished in a car accident shortly after leaving the establishment, and a young lady who drowned in the river less than 50 yards away with no explanation why. With reports of loud, unexplained noises, poltergeist activity, light anomalies, and disembodied voices, Lost Souls Paranormal has been called in to investigate to try and give the owners insight into who or what has been causing these disturbances. We begin our investigation with Matt using the dousing rods to open up communications and to see who wishes to come through. Questions? Yeah. Get to know you? Rose. Rose? Rose, open up. Are we communicating with Rose? No. Is Rose here with us? Is Rose here with us? No. Are you are you stuck here? Or do you, are you stuck here? No. Forward, please. Do you choose to stay here? Yes, stuck too. Hear that? Thank you. Are you a male? A male spirit? Are you female? Are you a, are you a female spirit? Yes. Did you own this bar at one time? That was double. Mm -hmm. Straight it up. Is this Gigi? Clean. 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 This isn't Gigi? Did you, were you here when this was a horse stable? That that question? It's a bar, right? It's like clean, maybe they clean right? a bar. Yeah. Bar. Was this your clean. favorite bar? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Are we speaking to Mary Ellen? You cross for yes, open for no. Did you know Mary Ellen? Yes. They're stuck. 
Open them up. Thank you. Are there any other spirits here that wish to communicate with us tonight? Yes. Can you point the left rod uh, towards the room we should start in? Later this evening. It's like that back room. Point the other rod if we should go to the back room. Upstairs. Is it going to be good to go upstairs? No. <laughs> Why? Is it is it dangerous upstairs? Is it dangerous upstairs? Is nobody up there? Is that why? Is it because there's no one up there? someone here that needs help? Yes. Is this something that we can help with? Watch as a black mist rolls across the ceiling before an orb shoots to the ground. Can you tell us your name? Yes. All right, we'll try. I'll say a letter, and if your name begins with that letter, we we'll cross the rods. Is that okay? No. I don't want to be known. Do you not want us to know your name? Respect that. Do you know any of the people that are with us today? Yeah. I think so. I know you guys. <laughs> are those the two that you know? Two that you know here? Is there anybody else? Is there anybody you wish to speak to tonight? Okay. All right, well, thank you for speaking with us. Please stick around and join us. Bring your friends too. Close this session down. Three.